There was some action even before the ECAC quarterfinals were played for Fisher against Fredonia on Wednesday night. Mary Doherty hurt her ankle during warm-ups and she would not start the game. The shot started early with this shot by Danny Davis. Mary Doherty tries to move the ball downfield, but she re-aggravates her ankle injury. See here again on the replay, she lands on it awkwardly and hurts her ankle again. And she is taken out of the game and is helped off the field by coach Jill McCabe. That will, would end the first half with a scoreless tie still in the game. Danny Davis gets this pass and tries to get past a couple of Fredonia defenders, but gets it taken away. But it goes right to Laura Smith, but she shoots it far left. Here's Fredonia's Danielle Bleeker. She comes in from the right and shoots it over the net. Danny Davis shoots it again, but it goes right to Skroger. Danny Davis had seven shots on the night. Kelly Zabatella's shot looks like it's going to go in. Oh, close, but no. She misses it and hits the post. Here's a save by goalie Ashley Martin. She had four saves on the night, while Stacey Gable had three saves. Joelle Westman kicks a hard shot from close to midfield, but it goes over Martin's head and over the goal. Here's some, Fred here's some Fredonia action. Laura Lauren Highwell shoots it, shoots it past Ashley Martin. The shot didn't go in. Here's Kelly Zabatella, one of her four shots on the night, but it goes right to Becky Skroger. Let's fast forward to double overtime. Kelly Zabatella shoots it over the goalie and into the net. Fisher finished with 22 shots on the night, but this was the one that led the team to victory. The team would celebrate on the field, including Mary Doherty limping onto the field, which we will see shortly. Trying to congratulate her teammates, even though she couldn't play. Here she comes. The victory would take the women to Skidmore College to play, on William, to play William Smith for the ECAC semifinals on Saturday.